Greetings everyone and welcome back to Factorio Massa, where I am joined again as ever by Mangled Pork, Stejo, and Arumba. And I said again as ever. Uh, so so redundant. But uh, hello guys, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. Doing right. well. Very Better good. than me. How are you? Clearly. Um uh, <laughs> being redundant, you know, as as usual. Uh right. I noticed that I was making a massive dip <laughs> in uh the last episode. Uh, I was I was running copper plate instead of copper wire to a bunch of factories. It's like ah, really? That was silly. Yeah, yeah, it was. Thanks for noticing, Steve. Well, factories. Go. Was it advanced circuits or something? Uh, no, no, I was um running to making uh the power switch constant combinator decider combinator and arithmetic combinator because we're gonna need a lot oh the fancy things yeah we're gonna need a lot of them okay we've gotten rid of the steel seizure and i were talking between episodes we decided that we wanted more more iron and we we're gonna make a dedicated dedicated steel one because if we're gonna shut off the power to the sections there's no worry about like overlap we could just shut that section off and forget it makes sense we might be about to hit Storage capacity. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, place more down. There you go. Are they being made somewhere? That would be my guess. Yep. Yes. Of course they're being made somewhere. What a silly question. Well, not everything is. Oh be. damn it! I went to like ghost build them by making one, but when I ghost built the first one, it took it off me so that it could build that one. Just grab a a blueprint. But yeah, I just like that it does that as well. Yeah, I mean I it makes complete uh, sense in the logic of the game. It shouldn't take out of your hand though. I don't think. I mean, it's literally in your hand for crying out loud! Like I should just never take the last item out of your hand. Like it does, it can take fucking fifty of them out of your hand. Well, forty-nine, as long as it leaves the last item. Can I just like? I don't like them being super close to the thing, just like for the looks of it. All right. Plus, it's always nice when you're trying to cross the tracks if you've got a little space that you're not going to get squished on. Oh, fuck a duck. No, don't do this. It is illegal, everyone. Don't listen to Steve Joe. It's illegal? Yep. Yeah, it oh, is true. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Here's going to say, I tried it and I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have been surprised. Here is the date and the time and, and CCTV footage. Nice. That's that, that, that I don't know why you would need CCTV for for brain bleach. Well, My entire life is a, documented. A one square gap in the concrete over here. Why? Who did this? Does it make you angry? Of course it does. Uh, I've got 99 concrete in my inventory. This is terrible. But 99 concrete, but a bitch ain't one. What? <laughs> I'm not sure if that, that quite follows. Oh, where, where, are, where did the green circuits go? Probably a lack of iron. Why, why are there no more? Well, at the moment, there is no copper hooked up to... Yeah, there's yeah, no copper hooked up to there. anything. Uh, People yeah. responsible for hooking copper up to the factory, what's going on? We should fucking work it on it, man. Jesus. Just making sure. Shut that right down is what we did. I need more blue belt. Can you cook? Just hook these things up. And then it'll be working. How are you hooking them up? With belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Hmm. Nice. Annoying. One, two, three, four. I'm so used to the underground belt being like super long now that it kind of. I noticed that the up underground belt, the upgrade, quick upgrade, doesn't play well with the uh, longer underground belt mod. No. 
but uh, I'm so used to it being longer that like when I'm trying to yep. put down a really really long section of blue belt, I'm like, well, it's not very far. Maybe <laughs> go further than that. <laughs> there we go. Sorted. Now it should I, resume the construction of everything we needed. Do you just never play games with robots, Bentham? Is that what it is? Yes. There we are. Nice simple answer. Nice. We play two very different games here, don't we? Yeah. Robots are just... boring. <laughs> okay. Robots are boring insofar as using them to build stuff. Like using them to transport things to a requester chest so that a factory can build things. Yeah. 100% agree with that. Making it do belt balancers for you so you don't need to manually do them a million times. 100% disagree. That's just smart. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm with, definitely with Caesar on this one. Although generally I dislike overuse of, of robots for construction. They're pretty much... I, I almost make a, a research beeline for them. Especially now that we've got vehicle equipment. Having a car that can build your factory for you just seems like... I don't know. It feels like happiness. I just, I just don't like vehicles in the game at all. Do you not? Nah. I have noticed that you tend to shy away from them. And get them destroyed when you're piloting them. Yeah, that was a pretty crappy tank, though. <sighs> tank Chan weeps from beyond the grave. Well, I only had March actually... 1 shields and shit in it. We actually have full bills of copper and iron. Hooray! We have a lot of superfluous balancing. Yeah, there's a load of superfluous balancing. <laughs> I was you thinking just be sure. this. No! <laughs> no, you don't. Uh... <laughs> You are sure when you put it where it needs to be. Have confidence in yourself. If you notice a problem later on, then address adjust your expectations. I think it's mainly because with this particular set of belts, like the time between building one end and the other is about five episodes. In which time you've forgotten whether there's balancing on it already. <laughs> oh, there's certainly uh, something to be said about that, yeah. Okay, oh, so that's work. taking two full lines. Okay, and then it's getting balanced down into... Oh my god, this is horrible. Perfect. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not responsible, but I actually don't know. We've got all uh, the combinators yeah, it's now. It's definitely you, considering it says built by mangled pork. <laughs> Caught ya. On, on these splitters? The reason it's not saying... Oh, there it is. It's saying it on that one. It's not saying it on half of them. Uh, robots. Yeah, robots built it. These two here were built by me. Now you know the real wasn't. reason why well, Sejo yeah. likes building everything with robots, so he has no accountability. Yeah, but it means that you can be sure that it wasn't me, so you can show. That is also true, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Damn. He's actually come up with a an almost valid reason for not using robots. It's kind of He's like one of those logical fallacies. It, it sounds right. You have to stop and think about it for a moment. You're like... Oh, I'm fairly certain that isn't right, but I can't immediately think of a counter-argument. Hmm. I will grudgingly have to accept your argument for now. I will report back later. What are you talking about? Oh, you know those... When, when, when sometimes someone says something, like it's on a topic that you're not particularly... Um, um, you haven't really studied or anything like that. And it kind of makes a certain sort of sense, but there's, there's this gut feeling, it's like, nah, that, for, for some reason that sounds wrong. I think you're yeah. wrong, but I can't, I can't prove that you're wrong. I can't prove it. So it's like, okay, I will grudgingly accept what you've said for now, <laughs> but I will look this up later, <laughs> you know? One of those dangerous arguments, like, hmm, I don't know enough to tell you why you're wrong, but I'm fairly certain you are. <laughs> we don't have enough. But I will have to accept it for now. We don't have enough sport. modules for all this. What do you mean? Where, sorry, where, what, when, why? I have enough modules for, yeah. for what? Oh, mm -hmm. the um, large um, smelter you're setting up. Yeah, all this copper is not modules, basically. Yeah, uh, but that's probably just because we haven't had any modules getting built for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it'll it'll get filled circuits. out. It'll get filled out in time. 
Oh, actually, no, it won't. Over oh, no. Well, no, you need to add uh, one or two more um, RoboPods, but then it'll get filled out. That's a green circuit issue. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we... The factory was running dry for ages. Right. Uh, oh, that's annoying. We need to get... Uh, got to replace the steel one we took down, Steve Joe. Ah, yeah. Are you going to help on that, or are you gone? Uh, I was trying to work out why modules weren't working. Okay. There's just barely enough room to fit one more row. Perfect for steel. Um, but steel needs iron as well. Yeah, I'm gonna feed. I'm just gonna go east. Have we got everything over here? Oh, are you gonna do like a, a longer one? Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. What we have? But right. Well, you could do a longer one and then pull the. Bentham, pull what the are you working on right now? Here. Um, I'm. I was checking up on the the copper to see why there's not as much okay. as there can be, and it's because we need a million modules. Yeah. Why are those robots being dumb? What's wrong with them? Uh, uh, you're I'm going to hazard a guess and say Farl. I shall come visit the smelter. Yeah, I'm fairly certain oh. that any, any uh. robot shenanigans is probably the result of Farl. Farl has too big of a range. Yeah, but so they can build an entire outpost. Just from Farl. Reasonable, I suppose. Ah! <laughs> I went wrong. <laughs> That What's was wrong? some horrible driving right there. It, it locked onto the wrong thing. I was like, yes, this will go straight, and then it didn't go straight. So you're basically we saying to escape it's, just it's getting run over by the Steve mod's Joe. fault, yeah? Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping they didn't realize. And I'm being carried away. No. I need to get back to the road. <laughs> I find it quite amusing watching him try to... Try to, <laughs> try to escape. I just want to drive in a straight line. Paddle your little legs, Bentham. Oh. Paddle! The the key is you got to stop stop steering, otherwise that the mod doesn't take over and make you drive straight. Like if you keep trying you to I'm good. do control, it's good. There Hello. Go. Oh God, I've got to thread the needle. There you go. Got it. Woohoo! Yeah, that gate needs that. to be wider. No. You do that with latency hiding without having that auto. It needs to be shorter. <laughs> Steve, you just do that. Try and kill him. Not to try and kill him, him but if it happened, it would have been a nice little. Uh, <laughs> That's all bonus. <laughs> you are such a bad friend. Oh I'm staying away from these tracks forever. Why do I find it so funny since he's such a bad friend? Ah, oh, I must be a bad friend too. No. Oh, I'll drat. Uh, right, okay. So hazard concrete around it to <laughs> mark that no one should stand there. Yeah. Right, we need two things done. First and foremost, we've got eight belts over here that are the output belts. These basically need to be brought down to two. Now, the reason why I, I don't, like, scoff at the idea of four, uh, sorry, eight blue belts being reduced to two blue belts is because by the time it's reached this, realistically, anything that was on those belts should have been filtered out. There'll be a, a tiny amount of runoff if there's any runoff at all. Um, so, if you can set that up whilst... Hmm. What is it connecting up to? Uh, it, that, these are the lines that are actually going to be running back now, back across, and they're going to be joining up down here. Remember how we set this up for these eight six ways? lines here? Uh, let me just do that. Bump. No, no, no. The ones on the on the far side. The these are the runoff. Anything that didn't get oh, picked right, up uh, by the buffer chests will be running off here. So we basically need right to bring this down. I'll bring it out a little bit and then bring it down. So we'll say one, two, three. We should probably use underground belts to make this look better, because it would look a hell could, of a lot better with undergrounds. We could do a bit, of, bit of merging straight away just to reduce the number of belts we need to be. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Things with. Sure, no, no, that's a good idea. We, we will end up with five lines. One, two, three, four. Yeah, whatever. we will. But that, that's fine. Five. It's easier to manage than eight. You know what? Let's let's not just have it do that because it does look ugly when a when a belt is that long. In my opinion, it just starts to look unnecessary. So, how about I'm you gonna say? I'm just gonna add in some underground belt. It's not like we're hurting for resources, right. and that's really one of the only times you need to worry about underground. I would say. 
So I'm just going to sort this out over here. My brain is not functioning right now. Was it ever? Probably not. Need more more modules. Okay, steel is reconnected. We have a small amount of production for it, but the steel and most of the copper are not beaconed. Not properly, so. Do you remember how to do the um the split off that splits off a full belt? The priority splitter. No, 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 not not a priority splitter, the other one. The non prior non circuit network condition? Yeah, the one that the one that's like yeah. the, the balancer and splits off a full belt. Yeah. That does it in line. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember how to do it. Yeah, where are you? Uh, I'm down where old smelting Plus. used to be. Okay. Yeah, if you weren't grey, I could find you a lot easier. <laughs> He's <laughs> not going to let name. that go. He really won't. This is my name in white. <laughs> he will never let this go. Where are we going? Uh, just anywhere. Just. Oh, you want a blueprint? Okay. Ooh. Explosions. Uh, Explosions. And Gun turrets are going down where... Oh. Up in stone one. That's not uh, too far. That is the latest one, yeah. That's the latest expansion. Did you guys actually build defenses up there? Well, you must have, because well, towers uh, down. Did, were they I loaded? I put a very small amount of defenses. Apparently it was okay. too small. Yeah. I mean, we're not saying right. that, that, that you should Quite be conscious of, your, of, um, of size, but you probably should. That is not the one that I was thinking about. Yeah, and the turret's gonna have ammo here. Do your lane balancer after. I'll set up a, a proper I defense. I think that's right, but I'm not thinking straight either, so I don't know. No, that that works, yeah, but that's not the one I was thinking about. Yeah, that'll take 50% of the top lane, 50% of the third lane, and then you shuffle balance. 50 plus 50 is 100, that gives you one full belt. There's one that does the two middle lanes. Oh, that one would be... That's like nice and neat, but I can't... That would look very similar. I'm going to be doing this by hand. I just realized the lag hiding doesn't apply to the range that your personal roboport covers. So you can walk around inside the green box while you're holding like a deconstruction planner. Not a, a deep... <laughs> what is it called? Yeah, no, I know. It's a deconstruction mean. planet. It's a weird, weird word. I was bouncing around inside the green box. Mm. Can you stick a radar up there, Avak? Yep, won't be a problem at all. I'll go and clear out the bases afterwards. Aye. Like that? Is that what you're thinking of? It's prettier. No. So it's the same thing. It takes 50% of both mill lanes. Uses more underground belt, though. I don't know what you want, man. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's, that's not the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's nice, but it's not pretty enough. <laughs> no, it's just there was, there was a very specific one that <laughs> I was using a lot, and I can't remember how to do it's it. It's just defense. If it was me... That is probably what, what's going on, but with Steve, I don't think he cares at all about how pretty something is. Yeah. Well, I remember this thing that he just made there was functionally equivalent to what I was looking for. It's just, the only reason I was looking for that specific one is because I can't remember how to do it. Because I swiftly went beyond caring about the functionality of it. Okay, this stone outpost should be pretty much defended now for, for the time being. Nothing's going to get through here. It's got way more defenses than it actually needs. How about how much damage did it take while we were... Uh, you didn't lose much at all, actually. Just a couple of belts, gun turrets, that sort of thing. That one garret turret that you put was, up there was fine. Most of the attack was defeated. It's just one or two things managed to survive longer than the ammo did. Yeah, it, yeah was, only... it was a spitter that was breaking everything because it, you know, once the gun turrets weren't there, it outranged everything yep. and just sat back and destroyed everything. I uh, I was just using autofill, so I think each turret only had 100, uh, 10 bullets in it. Would be my guess. 
Applying all of the fire all of the time. See, I like the flamethrower for doing that, but it just takes so long compared to just dropping all of the fucking turrets in it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but, but without doubt, the superior strategy is the turret creep cheese. But it's just nice to run in there, just put everything to the torch. Yeah. I think, like, I'm happy with the number of times that I've cleared out a base with the flamethrower. That, that I feel... now you're okay with, yeah, I, see, I get yeah. you with that. Because to be fair, the, the amount of outposts you've built, oh my god. I'm surprised you're not talking in Biter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll marry one. the ways. <laughs> Maybe I'll marry one, yeah. Could well be the case. Uh, right. We've we'll actually run out of time, gentlemen. Flashing at me. Yeah. No. Oh. Fibs. Give me just a second, because I'm just going to finish off uh, this connection, and then the ore buffer area will be complete. And I'll be very, very happy to uh, be finished with that. I'm going to take me a moment. Thanks for the help with this, by the way, Bentham. It has been invaluable. Yeah, there we go. So, there we are. Perfect. Right, it was I who brought us in, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very, very much for joining us, everyone. We hope you have enjoyed and will, in fact, be joining us in the next episode where I'm going to move on to the construction of the actual smelter part of the factory and probably uh, work a little bit more on the um, combinator logic that will drive it all. But uh, So, uh, rather, I hope to see you then. But until next time, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon.